Hi everyone. In this session, we'll see how to create a self-hosted agent, uh, especially for Windows, though it is supported for Mac and Linux OS also. Uh, Microsoft Azure actually provides a Microsoft hosted agents also to do your builds. I would uh, suggest we should have a self-hosted agent uh, created because then you can install your dependencies of the project and uh, run efficiently. So to and, and it's very easy to uh, to get the self-hosted agent installed. Today I'm going to show you how you will install the self-hosted agent on your laptop and then uh, start doing builds using it. Uh, you have to just log into your project in DevOps and if you go to project settings and under pipelines if you click on agent pools uh, here it will show all the Microsoft hosted agents Mac OS, uh, Ubuntu and then VS 2017 and .NET projects you can use it uh, for our own we will create a new agent pool and we will give it a name say self hosted uh, windows agent and create it so once it is created you will see nothing is showing under it right now uh, click this download agent link which opens up here and provides you option for all the three OS and within windows you can see for x86 or 64 bit machine you can uh, download accordingly so click this link and then download the agent which is around 104 MB uh, and it will take just a little bit of time once this agent is downloaded i have copied into ctem folder here and extracted the contents of this you can see it here and then we can go back and see what's the next step to do we'll configure it now using powershell so we'll invoke powershell and run it as administrator let's change to the directory and then run this command at this stage it is trying to configure this agent before we can run this agent so it's asking for server URL which is nothing but uh, your URL here on the top of your browser you can see using which you actually logged into your project just copy it and paste then it asks how it will authenticate itself to the server which is whether it should use PAT or not default you should go for PAT which is personal access token now you have to get a personal access token for which you should be part of agent pool administrator and it's very easy to create one uh, on your right top when you click on this icon you can go to security here and within security you will see persons personal access token you can click on new and create one i have already created one this by name agents for windows which is active so i will be using the same uh, be sh be aware that once you get this token you have to save it somewhere because it won't show this token again you have to actually recreate a new one if you want to uh, or if you forgot that previous token so we'll go back to powershell script provide this token and now it's trying to connect to the server and it's asking for details of that logical pool which we created on devops so this is the name of our uh, new agent pool so we'll provide this name self hosted windows agent just to double cross double check yes it's right and then it asks for what should be the agent name within that pool uh, we'll go with the default and right now it is scanning for the capabilities and that is nothing but all the different softwares which are installed on it uh, which uh, the project can use it once that is scanned it asks for the working folder i will go with the default and then it asks whether you want to run this agent in interactive mode or as a service uh, for this we will go as a service and later i will show you 
how to run the same agent as interactive in interactive mode as well uh, obviously you need to provide a user account uh, using which the service will run uh, make sure that particular user account should have access to all the resources if your task requires some external service or external resource access uh, whichever user you are using it should have access to i will go with the default of nt authority and that's it your agent is ready now if you quickly come back and uh, click on the pool and you can see the agent shows and it becomes green uh, to see where exactly it's running you can go to windows services and when you scroll down you can see vsts agent if you refresh this it says started now if you can stop this service as soon as you stop this agent you can see the status here on the devops immediately goes to red which means now there is no agent available to run any build but you can run this agent as in interactive mode using command prompt so let's start command prompt as administrator and change to the directory where the contents of agents are and we will run a simple command so you will see as soon as it goes into listening mode this becomes green that's it so your agent is now up and running and uh, you can submit your build using the pipeline uh, stay tuned for the next session where i will show you how actually the job gets run on this agent uh, we'll create a pipeline and then see the job getting assigned to this agent and getting executed so thanks for watching uh, see you in the next session